Okay, in this video, we'll be talking about calculator shortcuts for solving questions on complex numbers. Alright, so we'll be looking at how to use our Casio FX991ES calculator to solve questions on complex numbers. Now, first, complex numbers are numbers of this form. Basically, a complex number is a number that comprises of a real part and an Im imaginary part. For instance, here we have 4 plus 5i, this is a complex number. 4, which is the part without i, is the real part. And then 5i is the imaginary part. Alright, so every complex number will comprise of a real part and an imaginary part. We have 4 plus 5i, a complex number. This is also another complex number, 3 minus 2i. We have the real part, we also have the imaginary part. So that's what a complex number is. So in this video, we'll be covering some shortcuts, all right, using our calculator. Now, first here, they said evaluate 4 plus 5i plus 3, and then we have 3 minus 2i, all right? 4 plus 5i, we have plus, then 3 minus 2i. So basically, this one is on addition. We are trying to use or add up these complex numbers. Now, we can you do this using our calculator. And how do we go about it? Now, when solving questions on complex numbers or to solve questions on complex numbers, the first thing you need to do is to put your calculator in complex mode. All right. So how do you go about that? You just come here, you tap on the mode button and then you see number two. Number two says complex. So you come here and press number two. All right. You can also see it here at the top of this number two complex. So every function that has to do with complex number, you'll be using this. Um, number here so we've ended up we've succeeded in putting our calculator now in a complex mode now we want to add up these numbers 4 plus 5i and then plus 3 minus 2i all right all we need to do here is arrange it in the calculator exactly the way it is here and then press equal to so we'll just see we'll open brackets we have 4 and then we have plus 5 we have 5 here now, this is where we have our I button, ENG, all right? You see at the top here, you have I. So, you press this button, you see I will come out. And then we have 4 plus 5I. And then you close brackets. You come to this next point here, you have plus 3 minus 2I. So, you say plus, again, open bracket, you have 3 minus 2I. Okay, so this I again tap on this button and then we we'll close our bracket and then we'll just press equal to and that will give us our answer the answer here is 7 plus 3i you can also do this uh, manually without the calculator you just need to add real to real imaginary to imaginary and you get the same thing all right so this is how to add up numbers using our calculator now when we are done with this we can just take it out ac button all right and then we'll go to the next one here they said, if t equals 2 minus 3i and q equals minus 2 plus 3i, then t minus 3q is. So in this case, this is also on subtraction, all right? This is on subtraction, but then we are not just subtracting t and q. You have to multiply q by 3. That's what we have here. So we can just do this with our calculator. So we have t minus 3q. That's what they're asking you to look for. So what's t? T is 2 minus 3i. Don't forget, your calculator must be in complex mode. We've already done that before. So we'll just continue. So we'll type in T into our calculator, which is 2 minus, we have 3i. All right, this is where you have your I button, ink button, ENG. And then you say minus, all right, remember it is T minus 3q. So say minus 3q. So 3q simply means use 3 to multiply q. So write everything in Q in bracket, write Q in bracket, and then we'll have um, Q is minus 2 plus 3i. Arrange it in bracket, that will give us minus 2, minus 2 plus, we have 3i. All right, you close bracket again. So this is what we have, and then you just press equal. You already have it now. So this is T minus 3q. All right, minus three, then we have Q. We've arranged everything already. So you just press equal to, there you see your answer, which is eight minus 12i. And that is option B.
okay we can also use our calculator to solve division on complex numbers how do we go about it? this is 4 minus 3i divided by 3 plus 4i again you clear out everything ensure your calculator is on complex mode all right anytime you're solving questions on complex numbers we've already done that previously so just go on and impute this into our calculator this 4 minus 3i all over 3 plus 4i so just go straight to our fraction button we type 4 we arrange it 4 minus we have 3i okay and then you use your navigation button to bring your cursor down you type 3 plus 4i 3 plus 4i all right and then you press equal to you see your answer which is minus i option c okay so this is how to carry out division using your casio calculator your calculator must be in complex mode now the next one here they say the modulus of the quantity in example three above is that's to say the modulus of minus i the modulus of minus i the modulus is also the same thing as the absolute value. That's another name for it. You can call it absolute value. You can also call it magnitude. Now, to get the, mag the modulus or absolute value, we'll come to this button here. All right. HYP, hype. All right. So, above it, you see ABS. This ABS here stands for absolute. Now, to bring out ABS, you need to press shift and then you press this button here. Everything written in yellow here, to bring them out, you always press shift button first. For the ones written on red to get bring them out or to get their function you press alpha first so we want to get absolute value which is the same thing as modulus so say shifts all right we have this button here so you see it here these two bars here are also talking about modulus all right the two bars here are talking about modulus or absolute value so we'll just type inside the bar the bars as you can see our cursor is already blinking there so just say minus and then i remember the modulus of what we are looking for is the answer we got in example three which is minus i and then we press equal to and then we'll have one so our option here our answer here is one now example five here they said evaluate all right the absolute value don't forget these two bars here mean absolute these two bars by the side this and this mean absolute value also known as modulus you can see it in your calculator also so now they say evaluate the modulus of 4 minus 3i all over 8 plus 15i. So clear again. And then we'll just type this in the way it is. But we can do it this way. Rather than solving for 4 minus 3i divided by 8 plus 5, 15i first. And then try to calculate absolute value. You can just take everything at once. How do you go about it? You just come to your calculator. You press shift button. All right. You bring out your modulus function or absolute value function, which is this. Then you just arrange this in bracket. So doing 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 that, we have bring out our fraction button. So we have four. We have four minus. We say three i. All right. This is where you see i ink button. This i. So say three i. And then you bring down your cursor. Here we have eight plus fifteen i. So again, you say eight plus. 15i okay and then you press equal to that's 5 over 17 option c so that's just it all right now example 6 here say what is the modulus of 2 plus 3i multiplied by 3 minus 2i 2 plus 3i in bracket and then 3 minus 2i in another bracket so basically they are multiplying each other all right we can do these two ways we can multiply this get our answer then calculate absolute value or we can just say absolute value or modulus of everything together all right i'm going to show you the two methods let's start with the first one let's multiply this and get our answer first so we have two plus three i okay you close bracket you open the next bracket you have 3 minus 2i, a close bracket. All right, so this is what we have here. So we are multiplying this. They will press equal to. So our answer is 12 plus 5i. Do not forget 12 plus 
5i. Now we'll get, we'll try to get the absolute value of 12 plus 5i. So say shift, okay, we'll come to this ABS here and they will say 12 plus 5i, okay, and that will give you 13, option D. Another way of doing it, or the second method of doing it is you can just simply take the absolute value of everything here. So just say shift, all right, absolute value function, we'll bring it out, and then we'll arrange, type this thing we have in brackets, we'll just type it straight into the calculator. So we have 2 plus 3i, close brackets, you open the next bracket, you have 3, 3 minus 2i, all right, close bracket, they press equal to the same thing, D, option D, which is 13. So this is how to solve um, complex numbers using our calculator. Now, when you're done, please do not forget to remove your calculator from complex mode. Very, very important. All right. You cannot leave your calculator like this. It's going to affect any other calculation you try doing with this calculator. All right. So to remove our calculator from complex mode, you come here, press mode, and then you press number one. Okay. It will take it back to the normal mode. All right. So I believe this video was of great help to you. Kindly subscribe to our channel. Feel free to share this video like share and leave a comment